Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. The body was empty inside. Bye. Life is strange, me too. When we opened the body, there was nothing inside. No organs, no bones, no nothing. We were hard pressed to even explain how the skin retained its shape instead of collapsing like an empty glove. We called the feds on that one, way above our pay grade. A pair of feds were there within an hour. They didn't look like what I expected. I thought that they'd be wearing black suits, sunglasses, earpieces, that kind of thing. Instead, they were dressed in white lab coats and scrubs. It's our job to blend in with the environment, the first fed said. Can you show us to the body? I did as I was asked, and we four stared down at the body. The feds, my technician, and me. There's something about the fluorescent lights they use in morgues that make the bodies look unreal. Their flesh is pallid and dull like one of those statues from Madame Trousseau's. We're gonna have to call this in, the first fed said. The second one reached for his phone, but he never got there. The body lurched upright and seized the two agents by their throats. Slowly, the flesh on the body's Y incision began to knit back together. The feds reached for their guns and I collapsed to the ground with my hand on my heart. The gunshots tore through the hollow flesh suit, but the creature just continued to squeeze. The, the agents' faces turned red and then purple, their eyes bulging and shot with blood. For a moment, I thought that they were going to pop right off, but I didn't stay to find out. As soon as I got my wits about me, I bolted, smashing through the metal double doors and racing up the stairs to the first floor. My heart was pounding in my chest, racing to catch up with my breath, but my mind was focused on one thought only. Get as far away from this place as you can. I hoped that my morgue technician had gotten out too, but I didn't turn back around to look. I jumped in my car and with shaking hands thrust the key in the ignition. I peeled out of the lot and onto the main road, frantically swerving my way through the traffic as I raced towards the police station. I didn't know what I had just seen, but I knew that I had to warn someone. I arrived at the station, a babbling mess. They sat me in a room with a mirror in it and gave me some water. They told me to calm down and there were murmurs behind my back about putting me in the psych ward for an overnight. As soon as I heard that, I knew that I had to leave. But as I opened the door and stepped out into the hallway, I saw something that made me stop. Four other people had come into the station in lab coats. My technician, the feds, and the man who had been on my table. I went out the back hallway and through the emergency exit. I managed to circle back to my car before I heard the gunshots inside. That night, I drove as far as a tank of gas would take me, and I checked into a motel under a fake name. Over the next few days, I watched the news reports for the town, but they didn't report anything strange. Some nights, I still lie awake and wonder what happened. Were the police able to put them down? Uh, did the feds come in, cover it up? Or is there a small town in the American Midwest that's full of hollow people now, just waiting for the chance to tear someone else open and hollow them out? I'm not sure I want to find out. So stay scary, my wildlings. When the dead bodies start moving, it's time to get the fuck out and make the most of your nights.